Hey, welcome to a Simple Python Turtle Graphics Game Using Classes Part 2. Uh, we're going to learn how to use the keyboard to control our character. Let's take a look back at Part 1 and see what was going on. Okay, so we got our player class on the screen instance, and it's going straight, and then we can't do anything with it, but that's good. So everything's working so far. So what we want to do is be able to turn it. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and put that code together. And so just as a review, okay, again, we've imported our turtle module. We've set up, we've created a screen object. We have changed the background color and changed the title of the window. We have created our initial player class. Actually, let's go back to one. Created our initial player class and we have initialized it. So this is called the class constructor. Uh, we have also called uh, the initializing constructor for the parent class, which is turtle.turtle. .turtle. And then we've, you know, raised the pen, changed the shape, changed the color, and created a, an instance variable called speed and a class method. Sorry, a lot, a lot of vocabulary. Class method uh, called move, and it moves that particular instance, which comes from here, forward by its own speed. And we got a main loop. And the loop only does one thing, it is player.move. So player is a member of the player class, or an instance of the player class, I should say. And move moves it forward by the speed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be able to uh, turn our turtle left, turn our turtle right, and to increase the speed. Okay, so what we're going to do is something called a uh, keyboard binding. Okay. So what that means is we connect uh, keys on the keyboard to a particular function, or in this case, it's going to be a class method. Okay, so to do that, um, and I, I just put this right outside the uh, main loop. I don't know if it has to be here, but I'm pretty sure it has to come after uh, the methods we're calling. And so to do that, uh, just remember this is a comment. This is just for humans. The turtle module has a nice little... Uh, method called listen and what that does is it tells the turtle module to listen for keyboard presses that's all it does and then we've got some commands here called on key so that's a method the on key method so what it says is on key so when I push in this case the left arrow key I want the player to turn left I'm going to explain that a little bit more in a minute when I press the right arrow key, I want the player to turn right. And when I press the up key, up arrow key, I want the player to increase speed. Okay. So what I've done is I've actually created three class methods. Okay. Turn left, turn right, increase speed. Okay. So turn left, turn right, increase speed. Notice there's parentheses here, but no parentheses here. Not 100% sure why, but just trust me on this one. Um, so player, again, is going to be self. That's how classes work. Player is self. Player is self. So when I push the left arrow key, player turn left is going to happen. And so what I've done here is self.left, and that's 30 means 30 degrees. So this is part of the turtle module. So if I tell the turtle to go turtle.left 30, it will turn left 30 degrees. Same thing here. I tell it turtle.right 30 degrees, it turns 30 degrees. Now this one's a little bit different. Um, this actually what it does is it checks the current speed. And what this little uh, thing means, it means is to add one to the current speed. Okay. So when I start the game, my turtle is at a speed of one. And then I can push the up arrow, and it increases the speed by one. So it goes from one to two, two to three, three to four, and so on and so forth. Okay. That's all the changes that I have to do. I have to set up the keyboard bindings. So you might want to pause and type that in. And I have to set up the actual class methods that I'm going to be using. Okay. So what's cool about classes is I've created my class instance here. Okay. So the only thing I need to do to add abilities to it is to change the class definition. 
So if I want to be able to turn left, I add it here. If I want to be able to turn right, I add it here. Increase speed, I turn it here, and there'll be a few other things that we're going to be doing as we go along. Okay. So now if I run this code, okay, I got the same thing. I'm going to push the left arrow. Okay, so you can see how it turns. Up arrow, it's getting a little faster. Right arrow. Okay, and so now I've got like a cool little uh, player that I can move around the screen and speed up. Okay, so to summarize, okay, we need to create keyboard bindings. Okay, we, oops. Okay, I knew that was going to happen eventually. Uh, we need to create keyboard bindings. Uh, so I've ba I've, I'm binding the left arrow key to player.turnLeft. So that's the player, and this is the class method. I'm binding the right arrow key, that's what that means, to the player, in this case, turn right method. And I've, I'm binding the up arrow key to the player increase speed method. And that whatever the player's speed is, it goes up by one each time. That's what, again, that's what this means. And OK, 